Buenos dias, amigos. Mi amo es Huesto Enrico. Y welcome, bienvenidos a Taquiendo de Flames Fiosos Pupilers. As you can see, I'm wearing my Mexican head and wristbands today to talk about American football, the favorite sport of people in Mexico. We're gonna, today we're going to talk about MBTI League football. Now, in the MBTI League, it's just like regular football, except every position can only have one MBTI type played at that position. And so if you use ISFP for your tight end or whatever, well, then you can't use them for running back, right? And the question is twofold. Number one, which um, team do you think is going to win? Number two, which team owner do you think did a better job of placing his uh, respective people and why? And we're going to pretend that they're playing real football, okay? <laughs> this is what they're playing. They're playing real tackle football, except it's it's populated in real tackle football by a bunch of a perfectly average height, weight, 25-year-old examples of all these types. That's the only players in the game. They're all five foot ten and exactly 200 pounds and exactly 25 years old and of basically equivalent body types, basically equivalent physical skills. Given just what we know about their cognitive functions and their their personality stuff, again, which team wins and which team owner did a better job of putting together his putting and meshing his people with a position? Anyone want to start us off? I guess the easiest question is the first one. Which team wins? I might, I might have to give it to the ENTJ. Okay, so... Uh, so coach. You, so you think that because the Oklahoma team has more... has better coaching, they're going to win? They're, they're just, just better, better at organizing, organizing people, people and putting, putting them in the right... right positions by the coach doesn't get to put the people in the position that's the team owner that's a separate critique like the team owner said to the coach okay your quarterbacks this is your list of players and who you got to play where so who's, who's the, the team, team owner, owner the INTJ uh, the team owner is is uh, is an ENTP but he, <laughs> why not <laughs> just because you know he's like I got an idea. Let's have a football league where... So, you know, that's got to be his league. I don't know who else would have that league. Yeah, yeah, they would start start something like that. So, okay, but regardless, the team team owners for each team are sort of typeless, let's say. And it doesn't matter what type they are. Regardless of what type they are, we can't judge whether or not they did a good job by knowing anything about them. We have to judge what what we conclude about them based on whether they did a good job. See what I'm saying? Uh, Mark, you got any thoughts? I can put up share screen again so you guys can see the thing I'm looking at. Um, Piao and Piao. So, which football team wins? ENTJ, ESTJ, ISTP, ESFJ, ISFP, INFP, or INTJ, ESFP, ENTP, ENFP, ESTP? Why do we have so many on my team, but on this team, but not on this team? We got four extroverted. Where's the other extrovert over here? ENTJ, ESTJ, ESFJ, ENFJ. Oh, ENFJ didn't get in. Let's put ENFJ here. And I let, mean, it seems, seems that, that the, uh, the ENTJ, ENTJ coach, coach side of things is going to be more streamlined and, and uh, efficient. efficient. Than the receiver side of things. The receiver side of things has to do with an ESFP and an ENFP. Okay, but they've got an INTJ coach. Yeah. That's smarter than ENTJ. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, better at making contingency plans and. I think INTJ would be more like apprehensive about things until they get the perfect setup. And, and if they, they if they start, start losing, they're going to be disillusioned. But like the INTJ is going to be more willing to be like, oh, screw it. ENTJ will 
Well, I INTJ is, is sorry. INTJ, INTJ is going to be more likely to be like, oh, well, screw it. The INTJ is going to execute a fairly conventional approach very efficiently. INTJ is going to be less efficient in execution, but is going to have have a knockout puncher's ch- chance. You know, INTJ will, will outbox if it goes the full rounds, but INTJ probably has something up their sleeve. Yeah, yeah but we're, we're seeing, seeing which one would be more consistent, consistent right? No, it's only one big game, Mark. One big game. Who wins the one big game, okay? Now, I would I might give the advantage to the judges still because of ENFJ. And ESFJ, they got the motivational. They got the motivators. Who are we going to rely on for motivation? Um, ISFJ? They're, they're just going to fret us into that one. Benchwarming, though. They're benchwarming for both the teams, right? Well, they can, they can stand up and clap and shit. Yeah, yeah but they're going to do the same thing for the OT, too. Well, I, no, INTP is... is the judges bench warmer. We got a more in support of bench warmer, maybe. Although they're probably oh, really supportive. Right. right. They're also going to be worried, though. though. Yeah. They're going to be freaking out. out. Like, like, oh, well, what, what if this happens? happens? Ah. And doubt can be infectious. So far, the receivers are looking like they're at a disadvantage here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but look, we got strong safety. Oh, we, they don't have any wideouts. That's I guess INFP is wideout. I kick. I like. I like. Um, I like the ENTP's chances against their wide receivers. I think ENTP can can successfully deal with their wide receivers on an island, freeing up our linebackers to make the tackle underneath. What do you think? ESTP at linebacker positions, that's pretty good. We got three ESTPs at, at linebacker. They don't got anything like that. What do they got? ISTP at fullback? <laughs> whoop de do. Gain two yards. Go ahead. Our, our ESTPs will fill the gaps and stuff that shit. Now, the INFJs on the end, that's a real disadvantage. They're going to be pretty... They're going to be observing. They're going to be like, oh, oh, I'm over here. here. Right. They're not the most just... actively engaged. Yeah. yeah. INFJ, get your fucking head out of your ass! <laughs> um, Eric, people don't like. Can you? Eric. <laughs> um, what do you think, think uh, Saint, Saint is saying, saying something in the chat. chat. Oh, also, the INFJ wouldn't put a four slot SE on the field, remove the INFJ and put in the ISFJ. Well, because. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Well, because I was just thinking, I don't know why I did that. You're right. I'm going to put INFJ over here. ISFJ on the end, that's fine. They're not really that fast. Maybe we should switch them around with the tackles here. Give us a little bit more of an advantage. I think ISTJ is going to be better than ISFJ. And I'd rather have ISFJ just for helping the, the offensive lineman clog up the middle and try to take up a lot of their attention while the... ISTJ ends make their way around the ends. So that's a good suggestion. Thank you for that. Whoever has told me about the INFJ, ISFJ. Um, hmm. What do you think about our, our secondary versus their White House and tight ends? Who wins between ISFP, INFP, their receiving core with a little bit of ENFJ? Or do we have the ENTP, do we have the NE secondary? Is it adequate to stop them? What do you think? Well, ENFJ's got that third slot SC. It's going to be, but we have A slot, ENFPs do. I think our ESFP may be the secret dark horse star of this game. They may come out from free safety and lay the fucking lumber on some people, you know? No, no that ESFP would probably be pretty low. Yeah, I think, I think these are our strengths right here. It's free safety and linebacker. They're both SE doms. These guys Well, ESFP like, would get pissed, pissed too. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I mean, I think that, I guess I'd go with, over over a full-length scrimmage, assuming that every time the offense scores, they get a point, every time the defense stops them, they get a point. I'm going to say, and the full, and let's say there's 20 attempts, I'm going to say 12 to 8 judges. 
Other people want to offer up a score? Uh, I'll give it to them. What's your score? I'm saying 12-8, judges. That means they scored 12 times. They were stopped eight, eight times. 10-6. Now that's only 16. That's to add up to 20. Mm -hmm. 14-6. 14-6 in favor of the judges? Yeah. yeah. Wow. We have, a, we have a, a tough time of it there, even with our SE domes. I, mean, I think ESJ QB would be pretty darn good. All right, Washington. What's, what's your score? Yeah, Perceivers not getting any love. Hmm. I would say. That's 26. It's that up to 20. I gotta go up to 20. Okay. Actually, you could go 14 12. I'll tell you how you go 14 12. We're gonna say that it was 10 10 and they had to play extra points. You have to win by two. And so the judges won by a score of 14 to 12 in extra frames. You're picking the judges, right? I don't, I don't think, think ISFG would be impressive enough. Tackle? Okay, well, who are you, where, who are we going to put there, then? I don't, I don't know. know. I just, I just don't see them as being enough. Keep up, We've only got three, six. It's too apprehensive about stuff. stuff. We only have either INFJ or move somebody else. We have to put ISFJ in somewhere, and we already used our bench warmer for INFJ. Where do you want to put them? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's fine as it is. I just I think that's that's, that's something to consider. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I think that's, that's a good spot. spot. Yeah, we should have put the ENP as head coach. Probably we could have saved that game. That's what the ENP is telling INTJ after the game anyway. Dude, you should have let me be coach. I totally had some crazy ideas. We could have tried. I got Statue of Liberty. I got Reverse Statue of Liberty. I got double flip reverse Statue of Liberty. How many Statue of Liberty plays do you have in your playbook? I have a Statue of Tyranny. I got a Statue of Tyranny. I got a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> statue of Malaise. Yeah, but these, are, plays. these, these are, are all plays that just, just came up on the fly. fly. None of these was practice, so. Listen, Coach, sometimes my genius doesn't need any practice, okay? It just pops right out there and it's just gold right away. Uh, I'm like a hit and miss situation. I, I think, think the, the the game will end 12-8 to the perceivers, but I think the pursuers, the pursuers will be down in the beginning. But once the ESFT scores his or her first touchdown, I think the person will get such an ego boost that they will just keep scoring from the crowd cheering, so the perceiver end, uh, end up winning. What's the final score, St. Jacob? 12-8 to the perceivers. Okay, 12-8 perceivers. Crazy. We got an upset, according to Jacob. Because, you know, uh, judges were chalk. Uh, so, thank you, though. I appreciate having a uh, countervailing vote here on this. Friends at home, who's right? Is it Jacob or is it Eric, Mark, and Washington? And, John, you don't like football, you said. Jane, do you have an opinion about this? Dot, 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 she says. No, sir. Okay, says, cool. No, sir. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. And go football.